Mr. Regeer, you might look at this next case. I really, well, I guess there's some separate numbers. Okay, maybe. Yeah, okay. Look like the same charge. Are you Glenn Edwin Shack? Yes, Your Honor, I am. All right, sir, you've been charged with three counts of, of causing or knowingly causing or permitting a, a performance um, that is sexually explicit involving a minor uh, under the age of 14. I believe it's alleged this child in particular was 12 years of age. It was a uh, live video recording um, of the child engaged in sexual poses or acts. Um, it is referred to as aggravated internet trading and child pornography. It is an off-grid person felony. Therefore, it carries a life sentence of 25 years to lot 15 to life. Um, and registration for life, as well as um, lifetime post-release supervision. It's the highest level of offense that we have in the state of Kansas, along with premeditated murder. I'm going to enter not guilty pleas for you. I do see that there is a typo, perhaps in count two, your full name. There's no space in count one between your name and the verb. Um, I think count three looks fine. I was a little concerned that these were um, duplications, but I see that there are some different uh, references to um, the particular uh, JPEG or something. So maybe they're not, maybe they're just described as a similar image, but they are separate. At any rate, sir, uh, I would strongly suggest that you retain an attorney. If you cannot afford one, I will uh, appoint one to represent you. Please. Can you afford to hire your own attorney? All right, now I can. Okay. Are you working? Yes, ma'am, I am. And my wife's working full time too. And it's just, it's a mess. It's uh, no around kids or anything like that. Um, it's a restaurant. I work as a cook. Um, I, I mean, I clean the property. I drive semi for the owner. Um, I've never even been in anything like this before, Your Honor. I, I don't understand this. I mean, I get the three counts because it violated three different laws. I understand that. That's just. Well, yeah. um, how much did you make last year? I need, I'm need. i just trying to determine whether you qualify for court-appointed counsel or not. Uh, last year, I want to say 35000 I was off and on work for a while. I've had trouble since um, COVID happened. Uh, All right. I, I, I'm going to appoint Jim Watts to represent you then. Uh, the judge that's assigned to your case is Chief Judge David Rickey. Your court date with him will be October 23rd at 2.30. What is the recommendation on bond, Mr. Regeer? Your Honor, 100,000 cash or surety with all standard conditions with added special conditions of no internet or social media access. Um, as the court has already um, um, made, made a record of, this is a case involving um, three counts of aggravated internet trading and child pornography, all off-grid person felonies, um, and, and more specifically, three lifetime offenses potentially. So uh, the state's position is that all, um, all that at 100,000 is appropriate. All right, well, let me ask you a few questions because my file is very slim. Um, I can't tell whether a warrant was issued, which Judge Ricky would have reviewed the affidavit and set a bond amount with the warrant. I don't have a copy of the warrant or a return on the warrant or a summons if there was a summons. I don't know. Um, presumably he's in custody. So it was based on a, an arrest warrant these charges are back from June 22nd of 2022, so I don't think it was a probable cause arrest. So there must be an arrest warrant floating around out there, and 
Judge Ricky would have set the bond when he issued the warrant. There was no bond set. It was on the first of the month. It was issued. Well, we have to. You have to set a bond. A bond has to be set. He's not ten grand. Like that's going to be really hard. Yeah. Well, what I'm trying to find out is the judge that reviewed the affidavit, reviewed the request for bond, what he set the bond at. Mr. Regeer, do you- There was you... no bond set. That's why I'm still here. But otherwise, I would have paid it. I had my bondsman set up uh, Friday. I would have paid it then, but I didn't have well, a bond. I... Okay. Okay. I appreciate your help. Sorry. I'm asking the prosecutor to look at a warrant to see what the judge put on the bond. And if he put a no bond, then I'll consider that too. But I'd like to know what Judge Ricky, since this is his case, what he set the bond at when he signed the arrest warrant. Mr. Regeer, do you know? Um, unfortunately, Your Honor, I do not have that information in front of me at this time. Okay. Mandy, are you able to look at all in the clerk's file and see if there's a warrant that was issued or return on a warrant and the amount that your judge set for the bond for him there's not one in the case yet there's one in the queue for the judge that has not been signed yet okay I'm okay so they must have done a probable cause arrest then and not an arrest on arrest warrant if it's not signed. Does the jail know whether he came in on a warrant, that he was picked up on a warrant, or whether he was uh, arrested by law enforcement uh, on a probable cause hold? I could ask, Your Honor. I'm being told it's an inactive warrant. Okay, well, then that means that he, he was arrested by law enforcement on a June 2022 offense, I guess. All right. Sir, where did you say that you work? Here in town. How long have you worked there? Uh, off and on for three years. Where are you from? Uh, Michigan. How long have you lived in Kansas? Uh, a little over three years. Okay. Do you have a uh, passport? No, man. Okay. All right. You're not to leave the state, and I'm setting your bond at $100,000 cash or surety, um, no internet. And um, certainly no possession of any pornography and do not uh, violate the law. No contact with children under the age of 18 um, during the pendency of this case until an attorney has visited with you and you've gone before Judge Ricky. Judge Ricky can modify your bond in any manner um, that he'd like, and Mr. Watts comes to the courthouse every Wednesday, and he can visit. He'll visit with you then. Now that you've been assigned uh, to him as a client, he can get a hearing date um, at any convenient point in time with Judge Ricky to review the bond conditions. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, what thank that, you. What was that case number, Your Honor? The case number is 23CR435, State of Kansas versus Glenn Edwin Shack. Three counts of aggravated internet trading in child pornography, off grid person felonies. Judge Ricky is the judge. The bond is $100,000 cash or surety. Uh, no contact with minors. Uh, no internet. Do not violate the law. His court date is October the 23rd, 
2023 at 2.30 in the afternoon. Yes, Your Honor. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.